In this lecture, let's continue learning about the TypeScript compiler options. Let's go to VS Code. And here, let's go to tsconfig.json file. Now, the next option which we are going to talk about is this lib option. This lib is an option that allows us to specify which features and APIs the TypeScript should be aware of and allow us to use. So if I scroll a little bit right, you will notice that this feature specifies a set of bundled library declaration files that describes the target runtime environment. Let's try to understand it practically. So let's go to app.ts file and there what I will do is, first of all, I will open index.html and in there, I'm going to add a button element. And on this button, I'm going to specify an ID property and I'll simply set it to BTN. Okay, so now in the HTML file, we should also have a button element. So you can see this button. Let me give a name here. Let's say click me. Let's save it now. And now you will see that button. Let me close this file. And now in the app.ts, what we want is we want to access this button element and we want to listen to click event on this button element. For that, let's create a variable. Let's call this variable maybe button. And to get access to this button element, we are going to use document.getElementById. And here we are going to pass the ID of that button, which is btn. And now on this button, once we have access to this button, on that button, we are going to add add event listener function okay and here it should be button now here we want to listen to click event and when that click event happens let's also pass a callback function which should get called and here we simply want to log a message in the console saying that button is clicked okay now here we have an error because TypeScript does not know whether this expression is going to return a button element or not. So for now, what we will do is we will use this exclamation here. Now I'll explain it in the future lectures. What is the use of this? But for now, we are simply telling TypeScript that we are of course going to receive a button element from this expression. So this exclamation simply tells TypeScript. It simply assures TypeScript that we are going to get an element here. And on that element, we want to listen to click event. Okay, now if you save the changes and if we compile this app.ts, it compiles successfully. You see, we don't have any errors. But the main question is, how does TypeScript know about this document variable, this document object? How does it know that this document object has this get element by ID method? How does it know that this button has this add event listener method. So how does TypeScript know all this? Now you might say, of course, TypeScript knows about them because in vanilla JavaScript, this would be a valid JavaScript code. But keep in mind that when you write TypeScript code, you don't always write it for browsers. Because TypeScript is a programming language which can be used in both front-end and back-end. We can also use TypeScript with Node.js. And there, this code will not work because in Node.js, we don't have any document object. We don't get any access to the DOM elements or anything like that. So there, this code will not work. So how does TypeScript knows that this code we are writing for DOM manipulation? We are not writing it for Node.js. The reason why this works is because in this tsconfig.json file, we have this lib option, which is currently commented. And since it is commented, some defaults will be set for this option. And these defaults depends on what JavaScript version is being targeted here. In our case, this ES 2016 JavaScript version is being targeted here. Okay, so when we are targeting this ES 2016 JavaScript version, that simply means that by default, this lib option, this TypeScript project, it is targeting all ES 2016 features plus all the DOM APIs. So all the ES2016 features and all the DOM APIs will be available by default for this project. But if we go ahead and if we uncomment this option, 
if I save this and now if we go to app.ts there you will notice that now we have some errors so now this TypeScript project does not know about this document object and it even does not know about this console now why is that that's because as soon as we uncommented this lib option we don't have any default settings anymore and now it is required to specify what libraries should be targeted here okay so currently since we have not specified any value there no library is included not the es 2016 library is included so if i go ahead and if i try to use some es 2016 feature like for example if i try to create a map Here also we are getting an error. It is not aware about this map. So ES 2016 is also not being targeted here. All right. So what we need to do is here we need to tell that this project should target ES 2016. Okay. If I save the changes now and now if we go back to app.js and now you will notice that now for this map we don't have any error. And here we also want to tell that it should also target DOM APIs. For that, we can specify this DOM. And again, if we save the changes, now the errors should be gone here as well. As you can see, the errors are gone. So these values which we are specifying here, these are some identifiers. And there are already some predefined identifiers which TypeScript knows about. For example, this ES2016 is a identifier which TypeScript knows. This Tom is a identifier which TypeScript knows and there are many more other identifiers and you'll find the complete list of these identifiers in the official documentation of TypeScript and I will share it in the description. Now here let's also go ahead and let's add Dom iterable. So this one and let's also add script host. Okay. Let's save the changes. Now, these are the options which is set for this lib by default. So, if I comment it, by default, these are the libraries which will be targeted by the TypeScript project. Okay, so even if we don't uncomment this lib option, these four libraries will be targeted by default. And if I uncomment it, we can specify what libraries we want to target for this project. And for now, I have specified these four options. So now also these four libraries will be targeted. Okay, so explicitly specifying these libraries is same as commenting this lib option itself. Okay, so I'll keep it uncommented here because anyway, it is going to target the default libraries itself. Okay, so in this lecture, I simply wanted to explain what this lib option is used for in the tsconfig.json file. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.